Hey guys, it's Slamboni FPV. Today I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing of the Turner G Evolution from Hobby King. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the unboxing and then I'm going to go ahead and try to get it turned on and we'll also see if we can go ahead and show you uh, a little bit of on the simulator since I don't have my drone going yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you that. And there it is, the Turner G Evolution a radio in the box. Specs. Okay. Here it is outside of the box. In the box is the manual and then the actual controller inside of plastic. And then we got the control. We got the two three way switches on the back. Nice grips on the side. Pretty much looks like an Xbox controller. This is the lid on the top here. And it comes off. And we got the two gimbals. And then we got a switch here. And then the on off button. And another switch here. You can press it and also turn it. And then the other gimbal. They feel pretty nice. We'll probably have to go ahead and. There we go. Warning. Okay. So we got to lower the throttle. And it turns on. And as you can see, the gimbals light up. When you put them up or down, they change colors. Yellow in the middle, green bottom. Red, full up. Same with the one on the left. Also in the box we got the power cable, which is a mini USB. I'm also going to see if I can plug that into my computer and use that on a simulator. If I can, I'll go ahead and show you that. Otherwise, it's uh, just a charging cable there. And there it is right there. Okay, I lowered the lights so we can see uh, the screen here. We'll show you the features. So we got a timer one, start, reset, set up, and timer two. You can do the same there. TRS timer. And then we got the battery set up. It'll tell us when we have high and low voltage for the receiver and the transmitter. And then some more settings uh, the trim, the fail safe, the binding, LED setup. Output mode, stick mode. I'm assuming you can switch between one and two. Uh, your models, your model names, factory reset, and updates. And as I showed before, we got the three way switches on the back. And it holds in your hand pretty nice. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some simulator footage. From my PC, I was able to plug the controller directly into my computer using a USB. The setup was really easy in the flight simulator. I'm going to show you a quick little video of just some footage in screen from there.
As always, thanks for checking out my video. Go ahead and post any comments below. Like the channel and also subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much.